this experiment is really helping provide an understanding of what has been unexplained marsh loss along the Atlantic coast. We have known that we've been losing marshes in places like Connecticut and Long Island and Delaware, um, but we haven't really understood why. On the basis of this experiment, we're beginning to understand that at least some of that marsh loss is probably due to this widespread coastal nutrient enrichment from upland development. Sweeney Creek is the area where we're adding the nutrients, which makes it our experimental area where we're examining the effects of nutrient enrichment on the salt marsh ecosystem. One of the reasons that we started this experiment was because we knew that marshes could absorb some nutrients out of the water column. And the thinking at the time was that marshes could absorb nutrients almost without end. It would simply grow more grass. And it does indeed do that. But it turns out there is a limit to the amount of nutrients that marshes can take up. And in addition to that, some of the impacts of, of changing the entire ecosystem are affecting the marsh. We didn't, we didn't know that before. What we're finding when we added the nutrients is that the plants respond and they respond in a kind of sensible way. The grass itself gets taller and it gets greener. And that's what plants do, like in your garden when you fertilize. But when they get taller, they fall over. The plants make less roots in response to the nutrients because the reason plants make roots is to get nutrients. And so if we're giving them a very large supply of nutrients, they don't need as many roots to get all the nutrients that they need. But what's surprising out here, and what we didn't know when we started this experiment, was the net result of that was that because the plants got taller and fell over into the water currents, and they didn't have as many roots, they were getting tugged on and pulled on, and it's breaking up the integrity of the entire creek bank edge. And it's, that's why we're getting these fissures, these fractures in the, in the edge of the creek, and the plants are falling into the creek themselves. We really need to control our nitrogen loading to the coast. The nutrients that are coming from agricultural development, they're coming from fertilizing our lawns. I mean, every individual could make the decision not to add nitrogen to their lawn, and that would help the coastal areas a great deal. There are other more complicated things that we need to do as a society. For instance, we know how to build sewage treatment plants that take the nitrogen out. But the problem is a lot of people think, well, that's very expensive. But compared to the cost of having to rebuild our coastal cities when the marshes are all gone and they're being hit by increased frequency of winter storms and hurricanes because the marshes no longer protect them, I think in the long run we might think taking the nitrogen out and building better sewer systems was a better choice.